Hello, today I want to talk about the Aliens Original Years Omnibus Volume 2 from Marvel. This is a book I was really looking forward to getting uh, and it did not disappoint. Without any further ado, let's have a look at the book itself and afterwards we will talk about pricing and availability and what's to come from the Aliens Omnibus run. Okay then, so we've got the Aliens Original Years Omnibus Volume two to have a look at this is the cover art i chose the um direct market cover is different and we'll see that later in the book but to be honest i prefer this one uh, you've got obviously your omnibus label volume two on the side and there's some cover art on the back and a list of what it includes okay then for the main cover we've got the two alien queens fighting each other a red one and a blue one that's from a story in the um, previous volume actually but it's still a great great piece of art the book by the way opens really easily and reads really well and what you get is two contents pages you get a breakdown of the actual story arcs that are in the book and then you also get a issue by issue breakdown with page numbers which is really useful when you pick it up and put it down when you're reading it uh, anyway you get your collection of alien stories which are all set in this universe where by now aliens had taken over earth and people were trying to fight back and adjust to life with the xenomorphs uh, this um, this is a story where doctors are trying to explore fear and how it affects people and it's just a sort of little almost like a twilight zone kind of story where the guy who was doing the horrible experiments on people uh, using xenomorphs um, and people who've been in bad situations with them uh, gets his comeuppance at the at the end <laughs> then you get another story set in the past where Again, it's sort of like a um, Elseworlds, sto Elseworlds story where some bikers in the 50s uh, encounter encounter xenomorphs. Um, it's meant to be like a sort of old-fashioned sci-fi film where a sort of courting couple encounter them and there's bad biker dudes. Uh, there are lots of little stories at the start of this book, which I won't go over all of them individually. This one is particularly sort of disturbing. Uh, it's about a... A member of a religious order who crashes on planet and finds out that there's a xenomorph that is holding siege over a colony. She can't understand why it doesn't keep attacking and it turns out that they are cloning babies and feeding them to the xenomorph as a tribute. And obviously things don't, uh, don't end well in that story. Uh, I'm not going to keep explaining every single one because that will spoil it, but these are, you know, first, third stories um you get other ones where people go to labs and they're uh, experimenting on the xenomorphs um you get a particularly good one rogue um, which is the one we're flipping through now where a scientist is experimenting with the xenomorphs and trying to create a king alien to combat the queen how that ends up you will have to uh, you'll have to read and find out but things do come back from that story later in this book which is good what i like about these stories is generally the arcs are only three issues long um, sometimes they're a bit longer but you don't mind it because they they tie themselves up in a nice way they're, they're very well written i feel um, you also get the alien colonial marines story which is probably the longest um, run and that's about a group of colonial marines and one of whom is the sister of the Vasquez character from the film Aliens um, and they have they have encounters let's say with xenomorphs it's not the best story to be honest um, I find it a little bit disjointed wasn't that that taken in by it and I think them, some things were just left unexplained essentially um, but I wasn't you know bored reading it i just don't think it was the best one in the book they have some nice fun with like water-based aliens but the fun thing when you're looking at different alien shapes is you want to know what they came from to begin with so you can try and spot features of the um of, of the aliens uh, in their physiology 
you have uh, oh, and that's still Colonial Marines. Come on, let's just go past here. Told you this was a long run, by the way. Um, the story I liked the least in this was this one from Mike Mignola, where he does the art, which is really two uh, some people trapped on planet waiting for salvation, and it's not so much to do with the aliens. It's more about about desperation and the people there. I just didn't like it. It just didn't do anything for me, the story. Um, some people might absolutely love it just because of the artwork, but me, I wasn't I wasn't that taken by it. Um, this is the one the cover on the direct market variant comes from. Uh, it's a, basically set in a tribe of aliens and they are being attacked by a xenomorph and they send their warriors out to conquer it and there's a little twist at the end uh, we'll skip past that though now let's go right to the end of this book here you get a nice collection of cover pages in here some really good alien art you can tell there's a lot of care gone into this book when you're looking at it just trying to find me why that alien is smoking a cigar will make sense um, when you read the book. And you get some Aliens magazines covers as well. And I think I remember these being on the shelves when I was um, when I was younger. I see them in the newsagents, but I wasn't allowed to buy them. <laughs> anyway, that's the book, uh, and I think a fantastic, um, a fantastic addition to any collection. Okay, so that was the book. It's a great collection of stories. Much less filler than the first volume, meaning it didn't have all those sort of mini comics you got with um, sweets and things like that uh, and toys from the first volume, which seemed a lot like padding. But oh, I appreciate they were trying to be completionist with it. Uh, as far as the Aliens volumes go, they've got two more planned for this year, Volume 3 and Volume 4. I think Volume 3 comes out in May, Volume 4 later in the year, around November. I'll confirm that, I might be wrong with the months, because they do fluctuate, um, but I'll put it at the bottom where they are. Um, also, you've got the Predator Omnibus, so say scheduled for May now, Marvel has sorted out their issues, and that hopefully will lead into Aliens vs Predator stuff being released. Um, I would definitely say get this. Uh, it's quite a steep price if you don't shop around. Uh, I'll throw up prices for where you can get it from at the moment just to give you a general idea. But if you want tips on how to save money on your omnibuses when you're buying them, have a look at the video I put up um, a few weeks ago on that. I'll save me repeating it here. But really pleased with this. Looking forward to getting the other books. And um, let me know if you think the same or if you feel that there's something missing in these be interested to know uh please feel free to like and subscribe and thanks for watching